Welcome back. Well, with the new year comes those New Year's resolutions, and healthy eating is always a popular one, but sticking with it can be very, very hard. So this morning we've got nutritionist Carly Pollock here in studio to help. And you've got three simple tips. That, that's it. It makes it sound so easy. Well, most people tend to make really big New Year's resolutions, and I think it puts way too much pressure on us, mm -hmm. and it can set you up for unnecessary failure. So my recommendation is to stick with three small goals that are sustainable yet substantially increase your health and vitality. Okay. So let's start with hydration. My guideline for you is going to be to drink half your body weight in purified water, uh, in ounces of purified water per day. And remember, the solution to pollution is dilution. Keeping a food journal is a really important tool for increasing your self-accountability. Most of our eating actually happens outside of our awareness. So this is a great tool to track any triggers or eating behaviors that you're otherwise not conscious of. Mm -hmm. When we're looking to be healthy or to lose weight, most of us focus on what we should take out of our diets. I want you to think about all of the wonderful things that you can add into your diet this upcoming year. A New Year's resolution that I hope we all keep is to get five to 11 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. For those of you who don't like vegetables, I have my secret weapon, <laughs> which especially for you moms out there with picky eaters or for adults who just have an aversion to vegetables, mm -hmm. it's a supplement we sell on the website. It's called Paleo Greens. Some of you may be familiar with some green products out there, but quality varies greatly. Uh, per brand. This is the only green supplement that I recommend to my clients and use in my family as well. Mm -hmm. I put uh, one tablespoon of this equals four servings of vegetables. You can sprinkle it on anything or put it in a smoothie. It's all organic, dark, uh, leafy greens, wonderful thing to use. For those of you looking for a deeper detoxification protocol for the new year, we also sell this two-week whole body cleanse, and this is on the website as well, nutritionalwisdom.com under the supplement section. Got it. Another thing some people might try, I have a juicer at home. Yes. It's a good way to, it takes a lot to get a, a full glass of juice. So yes. You can get a lot of fruits and vegetables maybe in your diet too. Yes, and I would even take some of the fiber if you do have a juicer at home some of the fiber that is left over and put it in soups or continue to cook with it because the fiber is a wonderful thing too and we usually just throw that away mm -hmm. also with the journal some people say well oh I'm gonna lose this or not keep up with it but there are apps out there you can put yeah. notes in your phone to kind of keep up with with that I love my fitness pal as an app I really am a fan of writing something down I, you can also keep a gratitude journal at the end of the day just write one thing that you're really grateful for it'll help keep you motivated and then one more thing on the water yeah it's true too if you drink more water I've heard this so tell me if it's true you yeah. feel more full you do actually at first signs of dehydration your body will pretend that it's hungry and your metabolism slows by up to three percent at first signs of dehydration so as cliche as it is for me to tell people to drink water, it really is one of the most important tools you can use to increase your health and vitality. All righty. Some great tips to remember in yes. three simple things. So thank you so much for being with us. You're and so good welcome. luck to all of you if you try these in the new year and your resolution is to stay healthy. Yes.